Hello everyone, I'm the Crummy Archer, and welcome to the Curious Expedition Alpha 10. Now I've been following this game for a while, I think since Alpha 2? Alpha 3? Something like that? But it's been a while since the last time I played, so I wanted to dig back in. I'm actually going to do a, a short series on this game, because um, I think this game is pretty cool. Curious Expedition is a sort of turn-based, roguelike-ish love letter to the 19th century explorers. It's like, um, it's kind of FTL-y, but that's not the best thing. But we'll, we'll dive in, and it's the easiest way to see, to, to learn, I think. So let's see who we, we start with the different explorers here. Um, they get different uh, abilities, like see Amelia Earhart here gets increases the uh, gained compass accuracy when uncovering fields, which I'll explain when we get in there, and it tells you about who she starts with. Yeah, stuff like that. I'm gonna just kind of pick one at random because uh, I feel. Oh, let's do Richard Francis Burton. Allows one allows one to rest in native villages and improves communication with indigenous people. Sounds good to me. Richard Francis Bacon. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old bean. Have you have you heard that we're building a statue in, to honor the expeditions of our most famous members? Good. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. Now go! Explore! Adventure awaits! Alright, so I guess these are the people we're up against. I don't like that Charles Darwin. Look at him with a silly tie. Alright, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so let's go. So we're starting up here in England, heading down to the endless grasslands, and I guess everyone else is going to these other places. So we'll just start here. Um, and I will explain how the game works as we get in here. So the air was fresh and the taste of salt as I stored the equipment on the ship. Most of the information is presented as a, um, like a, uh, what is it? What is the word I'm looking for? A journal? Like a travel journal that was written, like they wrote a lot of those back there. A young branch approaching with a request he needed me to deliver a message to a chief located in the region. I will absolutely do that. And it is a letter which I promised to deliver, and my heart set sail, so we hit set sail, sorry. And let's head out. Let's check it out. Alright. Maybe we should attempt to deliver the letter first, luckily the man marked the location on a village map. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go. And now I'm gonna explain the basics here, since we're, uh, some of you have probably have not seen this before. So this is the map. It's, uh, pretty big. Each... You see the numbers coming up as I reach out. That's the number of uh, the amount of like sanity that it's going to take, which is this number up here, the the purple number. See, it says uh, we have 110 sanity. The mental state of your trek members dropped to zero, and more and more catastrophic events will start to occur. So this is kind of like a fuel gauge in a lot of ways. Um, this is our standing. The blue one is our standing, which basically means how much the people that live in the area like us, because if they decide they don't like you anymore. You're kind of screwed. They stop helping you, that kind of thing. So, and then we have the uh, how long we've been on this. This is our current fame. Uh, this is region points are conquered by discovering locations. Okay. And I don't really know what these two little bars are for, to be honest. You also have your compass, which is spinning around. The goal of every expedition is to make it to the um, the golden pyramid temple. Golden temple, I think it's called. And over time, the, the more we wander around, the more accurate this company, compass will be. Right now, it's just going to kind of wander ra aimlessly around the, the thing. Uh, and these are our three people. So we got our main explorer, Richard Francis Burton. Heroic adventurer with excellent knowledge of languages and cultures. He has these various dice, um, which we will deal with when we get into combat. I'll explain those more. He's a polyglot, and he needs to deliver a letter. He can carry two things, and he has three toughness. We also have Gorgif with us. Uh, he's good at scouting. He knows geography. Scouting one, better viewing distance. Claustrophobic, doesn't like his close spacing, and has scouting two. And you can promote him eventually, we can't do that right now. And then we've got Sir Anthony Edwin, or Lieutenant Anthony Edwin. And he's just kind of a soldier. He's got two carrying capacity, combat spirit, superstitious, combat spirit one and two. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is take this. Actually, we're going to go to this first. 
Uh, actually, yeah, we'll just go here first. So then you travel. And if you notice, this ticks down, time ticks up. You see more of the hexes on the map. And then we can enter the village. We enter a native village of a warrior tribe. The villagers are observious with caution. Quickly understood the land and the natives are able to communicate. This is the, see, if you don't have somebody who's a polyglot, like our, our lovely Richard Francis Burden here, uh, you can't really talk to them very much. You can do a few things, but there's a lot of like, uh, there's a limited number of things you can do. So first we'll deliver our letter. It rewards us about the best sites to see, including a holy shrine, which we marked on the map. Our time with the village is delight. They remained friendly and offered us more health. Um, let's see if anyone wants to join us. Luckily, one of the villagers is an insatiable wanderlust and joined us on the thing. All right, recruit warrior. A native warrior joined our trek. Our extended presence was well perceived, perceived well by the natives. They remained very polite. Felt like welcome. All right, let's uh, let's leave before we we wear out our welcome here. So that's the shrine they just told us about. So it looks like this is mostly water over here. So we're going to head, you know, that direction. <laughs> So let's go. I'm gonna go to this thing here. I think. What is that? It's a shaman hut. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to the shaman hut. Why not? It's gonna require one rope to can't to travel over something, I guess. Some sort of tree there. You can also you can also stop stuff in the middle, but I didn't want to. Let's uh, enter the hut here. We entered the mysterious looking hut. The place smelled old, wet wood, all the kinds of dried herbs. Other particular things hanging from the damp walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. Can ask for a cleansing? He's willing to offer service of thump, but demanded payment up front. Barter. Gonna it would give us some of these things if we sold him enough stuff. So it's a tome about tome page of chasm. Page was from an ancient tome was written in unearthly alien letters, but for some reason, you know you can read it. So these are, we can get fame or we can actually use these, I think. But I don't know. These produce some interesting sounds. I don't think we have anything we can sell. Like what's, what is that? They've changed this. I don't really know how this works exactly. It used to actually be like a, a number associated with this. Mm, cancel. We're gonna just go ahead and leave. Um, <laughs> apparently that guy's happy to be gone. Right, where do we want to go? What is this? Should we go here? Let's go here. Sanity is getting lower quicker than I would like, to be honest. But uh, maybe these springs will make us feel a little bit... See, like our sanity is already running out by the time we get over there. Yeah, we can rest overnight. The water tasted salty. Its healing ca capabilities were more than obvious. Let's rest overnight. Settle down, allowing everyone to rest. In turmoil, the turmoil in the group, Lieutenant Anthony Edwin pointed to the at a vulture who was circling above. According to him, it was a bad omen for the venture. We could shoot it down, but we have to ignore it because we don't have any bullets. We tried to talk some sense into Edwin, but he could not calm down and ruin the mood for the rest of the evening. All right. We lost we lost sanity on that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's drink some. Let's drink some. Uh, whoops. Leaps. Sorry. All right. That wasn't so good. Yes, we should have left an hour ago. All right. Got some got some sanity back for that. All right. Can we get? I feel like we should go to this spring. I'm gonna go to this, or not, not the spring, the shrine down here. Let's go to the shrine, see what we can find. There's some sort of wild animal up there. Oh. All right, let's examine the shrine, see what we see. Symbol of the forest deserved both fear and respect. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. Waist-high stairs led up to a doorway that could accommodate an elephant. There was white marks drawn around the entire area. So uh, let's head in and check it out. Entered a well-preserved ceremonial chamber. Altar flooded by light, throned in its center. All right, investigate the altar. So we can take this. 
It's probably going to make the area people in the area kind of pissed off, but I'd like to get some fame, so let's take it. What a glorious day. We took what we came for. Suddenly a loud noise came from the altar and we all ran outside holding our heads in pain as the shrine collapsed. Gorgif has started behaving strangely. Let's see what's, uh, yeah, let's see that knocked our standing down. So you are behaving strangely. Why? Kleptomania. Cannot resist urge. All right, he picked up a negative trait thing here and it looks like he got hurt too. Homesick. It's not willing to live. Right, so, yeah, so this guy's got homesick, which means that, uh, at the end of our mission here, when we all go back to England, he's not coming with us. Which is okay. He doesn't have to. We're just happy to have him along for right now. Let's go this far. So these, this is an animal, obviously. There's a tiger there. Um, thing there. You can kill them for, uh, takes this for some more sanity. I'm kind of worried, getting kind of slightly worried about our sanity, guys. I gotta admit, gotta admit. Um, go there. You can kill them. You can get some fame. I don't know if you can study them. I know that that was, I feel like there was something about that in one of the patch notes. Oh, oh, stop. Cancel travel. Right there. It's an old camp. Um, this is the golden temple right here. This is our goal. So this is going to be a really crappy first trip in terms of fame management, but I feel like we need this here. That, uh, that butterfly is just some, some basic little fame bits. Golden pyramid. Let's enter the pyramid. Approach the, yes, yeah, so he approached and said he would not follow to the civilized world. So that guy, uh, that Quipim decided not to come with us, which is fine. He doesn't have to. This is not going to be a lot of fame on this one, I don't think. Yeah, so we got 66. That's not a lot. All right, let's finish. Yay! Triumph! Choose a perk. Now you get to, to, to choose some of the stuff on our thing. We got what? Dream visions reveal an important... Dreams that reveal important locations. Recruit up to two units per ep expedition or gain sanity each time a butterfly is collected. I think I might get that one. Yeah, I'm going to take Butterfly Enthusiast. Anything that helps us keep sanity is uh, A-OK -okay in my book. Is this us? Are we way behind? Yeah, look how, look how far behind we are. 67. Oh, this isn't going to go well. That's our golden statue, though. Hmm. Can we... Let's, uh, let's gift it. Yeah. Because we're magnanimous. Alright. So we, now we can go to the monstrous dry lands. So let's head there. Alright, so now we can let's see, take a look at the map. So we can buy this, but we don't really have anything to, to sell him for it. Deal. That'll cost us 20. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, I'll find. Uh, cultist offered to join our expedition. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to recruit a cultist. Well, yeah, sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen, right, guys? Let's see if there's any equipment we could buy here. I'd like to get some. Apparently, we can buy one whiskey is all we can buy. That's not so good. You can't sell. All right. They added canvases and weather balloons to get scientific data, but we don't really have... Alright, we're going to spend all of our money here. Alright, this might not go well. But it's our first exposition, so I don't feel that bad about it if it fails. Yeah, let's go. I guess we'll go straight to this cave entrance here. Let's go check it out. Got nowhere else to go right now. Let's come here. Explore the cave. Need a torch in order to venture inside. Luckily, we have a torch. The torch descends in the darkness. A short while of treading carefully through the darkness, we arrived at the cave section. The walls were covered per with perfectly cons conserved prehistoric paintings that depicted a route to the isolated region many miles away. Took some time to document them for later research. Okay. So that, um... 
did something? I guess maybe it gave us something? Doesn't really look like it, does it? Hmm. Alright, which way do we want to go? I guess we'll head... This is basically blocked. Can't get over these mountains, so we can't go this direction. So I guess we'll go back this way? Let's go right here, and then we'll reevaluate when we get to that spot. We'll head to this question mark, I think. Sounds good to me. Hey, a village. Awesome. Oh, we got a tiger there. Alright. Villagers observe us with caution. They're ca kind and offer to help our cause. Knew the language so we can, uh, we can uh, talk to them. Alright. So we should we... Probably can't really trade anything, can we? No, that doesn't do it. I assume, yeah, it goes eventually goes green. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for it to go green. Okay. So we can't afford anything right now. Okay. Let's rest in the village. I'd like to get some sanity overnight. We'll sleep. Peaceful night. The atmosphere is beginning to be somewhat tense. All right, we'll leave. Claustrophobic, claustrophobic, kleptomaniac, superstitious. All right. Hmm. Now let's see. We got a tiger in our way. I'd kind of like to show you combat, but I also don't want us to get killed. So let's head this way. Yeah, I'm going to try to get here. It's a decent chance the tiger's going to get on us anyways. Nope. Ooh, waterfall. That's birdie. So let's head, let's head to the waterfall. Some other sort of animal over there. Oh, yep, tiger's on us. It's like tiger time. All right, so now we get to see what combat's like. Combat is based on dice rolls. And they've shifted these around a little bit since the last time I played, so I'm not 100% sure I will recognize them, but basic are You've got the, the swords, that's of course our attack, and I don't remember what the little little men, that wasn't on there before, maybe those are like run away? I don't know. Let's give it a roll and see what happens here. So this, oh, not that one. This one, this one together is a headbutt, okay. This together is a double attack. Do these go together? No? No. Okay. So you can put things together here. Um, this is a null set that doesn't do anything. So we got a double attack. Let's do that. So you end the round. And then the tiger attacks with fangs and does three damage. That's not so good. Well, I don't know why we didn't do any damage. That's kind of weird. Let's roll it. So let's try this again. I'm gonna do that. Oh, I forgot about this. You can roll it more than once. Okay. All right, so we'll throw that out there. No. Apparently there is no four attack here. No, no, all right. All right, in round. It's gonna maul us. Strong claws, oh no! This is not going well. All right, we're gonna run away. Oh, uh, Sir Anthony, or Lieutenant Anthony Edwin died. Sorry, buddy. That didn't go well. Stupid tiger. So we'll rest here overnight. Found out that Christopher Hawkins had been so nervous he dropped something during the last visit. All right. Way to go, Christopher. And you can rest again, stand it back over time. Um, I don't know if you caught that there. I was kind of quick because I'm worried about this tiger. Let's see if we can get out of here before this tiger messes with us again. Nope, he's going to attack us again. Alright, can we flee? Let's just try to run away. Come on, let's get away from this tiger. Oh no, Sir Francis Burton Cabot's come to his wounds. Okay, I guess that's the end of that. <laughs> 
Hey, there's where the map was. It was over here. All right. Um, all right. Good to know. All right. So that's that's uh, that's the first episode of uh, Curious Expedition Alpha 10. We will do most, much better next time. This is a learning game. Learning time. I have uh, It's been a few alphas since the last time I played, so I'm, I'm having to relearn a little bit. But we will uh, we'll be back next time with some more uh, Curious Expedition. If you liked what you saw, if you enjoyed watching me die, please look, click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.